Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, in uh, this project, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting this newly installed uh, window key, key casing here. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, prep and prime this, pre this previously varnished trim here. Uh, this was done about 20 years ago. It's been stained and it has a few coats of varnish on it, but we're going to paint it white. Um, so, so we have the, this window here, and we also have this window here. Now, the uh, walls are done, and we're just going to do the trim here. So as you can see right over here on the, on the corner here, there is a gap there. So this is going to need to uh, be caulked here, but not right, right, right now. And as you can see up here, these are the holes from the curtain rods, but the curtain rods are going to go back up. So we're, we're going to leave those holes there. Um, if, there if there are any holes that you want to fill, like for instance, if you're not going to put the curtains back up and you still have, have these holes here, if you, if you run your finger along the surface here, it, there's a bump because when you take out the screws. So to fix that, I use the back side of this one inch flexible blade here. In the corner, I use the corner here and I gouge it in so that when I run my finger along it, it's now smooth or it's concave. Uh, and uh, uh, after that's done, then what I do is I just use joint compound and I load up like that and I fill the hole so it sprouts out and then do another swipe so, so it's flat. And then this stuff will shrink so you will need to do at least two, two coats of this to recreate a totally smooth sur surface to, uh, so that you don't know that that hole was out uh, there. Now, over here, I had already done, I had already filled all the holes here. I did it twice and I, sand and I sanded it down and I vacuumed it and I used my dust brush here to dust away any dust that is created by the joint compound here. Because again, it's very, it's, uh, very important to, uh, to clean the surface so that when you paint, your paint will uh, glide better. Um, so I'll put these two tools down here. And then over here, we'll uh, come over here. So now this is a uh, previously stained and varnished surface and we want to paint it, but you just can't put a coat of primer on top of this because this is a slippery sur surface and uh, you need to scuff it up first. So what we're going to do is I have this medium sanding pad here and it's uh, made by 3M and it's medium here and you, you, you just want to do like a light sand so that everything is smooth here. Okay, now this is going to ensure that, that we have a smooth surface here and we're going to come up the side here. And what's great about these things is that it can conform to the shape of your hand here. So put it like that, put it like that there. So I'm going to take care of that one. We'll come over here and do the same thing here. With these grooves here, I'm, I'm pushing my fingers in here to conform to the shape of the uh, trim here. Okay, so I'll put that down. I'll grab my, my dust brush here and quickly just dust away the sur yeah, surface here. Before I started, when I took down the curtains, I took the vacuum and I vacuumed it all and vacuumed above here because a lot of dust will form up there. So, um, so I'm going to put this down here and um, next we're going to come over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a liquid deglosser on, on, on the surface here. And I'm going to use this product right here. It's made by Imperial and it's called Wilbon. It's a liquid surface pre preparation. 
Um, it says no sanding, de-glosser, guarantees it's hype on for all the finishes. What this is going to do is it's going to cut the, the, glow, the glossy sheen and it's going to clean the surface of any oils from, from, pre, from previous hands or any dirt or grime or dust. Um, this stuff does stink, but uh, it does a great job. So, and as you can, when I rub my finger down it now, it just, it slides. But then after we, after I apply this, I'll do it again and you can actually hear the surface friction that it creates. So we'll put a little bit on the, on the rag there. And we'll make sure that every part of the, that, that you hit every part of the trim with this, with uh, this deglosser. If you don't, then that area is still going to be shiny and it's, and it's going to be dirty and it's not going to be clean there. So um, I'm going to continue up here and make sure to get in the grooves too. And the sides, top. You can see all the stuff that's starting to come off here. The rag is gray now. Okay. So that takes care of that there. Now I'm going to take my, my finger here. And you can hear this surface friction now because now this is no longer a glossy, slippery sur surface. There's a lot of fri friction there. So we'll come over here now and we'll take care of this one here. And again, it's very important to get into all the grooves here. What I do is I just use my fingernails here uh, to get in there. So now, if you weren't going to use this stuff right here, um, then you would really have to sand the sur uh, surface down more to really scoff it up. Um, but then there's still like all the dust and stuff that's on the surface. So like you really want to use this stuff right here. Uh, it just it guarantees a clean surface to a paint on that will accept the primer. So we'll put these down here and um, and now we'll uh, we're ready to paint. So. In my paint bin here, I have a water-based bond bonding primer, and you can see it in here. Uh, this is called Styx, um, and, and again, it's a water-based bonding primer. If you don't use a water-based bond bond bonding primer, then uh, you either has to, you have to use oil so that um, it'll stick to to the surface. But uh, the, this stuff is great because it's water-based and. Uh, and it works on top of previously varnished surfaces and it'll work as a primer for that bare wood there. So with my left hand here, I'm going to start by bringing this down here on, on the inside corner. Uh, so you just want to come around over here. So I, I load up the brush just like a little bit there. Okay, and I put it in there and I'm coming probably uh, like a quarter of an inch away from the inside where it meets this uh, plastic window trim and I'll work it up into the corner there and I have it there and I'll start to pull down. Okay, now I'm going to reload up again here come down here, start here, bring this here, I'm going to load back up here, come into it, and bring it to the corner there. Work 
tuck it down in there in the corner. And come up like that there. So as you can see there, I hit the uh, inside corner there. Now I'm going to move the brush to my right hand and load up a lot there. Bring it into the middle and go down with it there. Okay, so I have a lot of paint there. I'm just going to spread this around the surface here. Okay, and I'm using a two and a half inch broad brush here. Um, <clears throat> so once it's all on like that, oh, I'll just take, take, take care of that so that cleans up that, uh, takes care of that there. So once it's all on, now I'll, fe I'll feather it off and I'll do that just and just laying the brush down very easy and going down with it there and I'll work it into the corner and go up with it there. Now if you press too hard on the brush, it won't call, call over as good, so it's very important just to, just to use a little bit of pressure there. So if, if you have any that has run down over here, just fan that out there. Okay, so we're going to come up here, I'm going to load up here, and now we're going to paint this one up here now. Okay, and I'm working the paint into the grooves there. Okay, so I got it like a quarter of an inch away. I'm going to reload up here now. And now work this into the corner and pull across. Come back into it. Reload up. Start up there and come down into it there. Clean that off there. Okay, now I'll reload up, I'll put a lot more on my brush there. Come into the middle of it and flatten out my brush. That's going to spread a lot of paint there. Come over here and I'll work it like that. Come into the corner here. Now for, the, for this top side, we're not going to take the top top, but what I like to do is just do it like that there. Come down into it and that'll take care of anything there. So I'll work the brush into the corner. First I'll come down there because we came into that and I'll work it into the corner and go once across and come back into it. So that takes care of that right 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 right, right over there. Uh, now I'm gonna paint th this side over here. So I'm gonna work it like that. Okay, so the idea is just to come close to this edge there with the paint and then once it's loaded up there, then we'll perfect it here. So work it into the corner and then come down with it. I'm going back up there. Okay, and I'll clean this up here. And then I'll load up a lot more paint here. And then bring this to the middle here. sides what you can do is just you can come into it like that and that helps out with that so once so once you have it covered the whole surface there then work it the brush on a 45 and then come down with it there come up with it there and we'll clean this up here okay now we'll paint this bot this bottom lip here so Come into it there and go back. And 
Yeah, I'll come into it. Okay, for this front here, just come into it like that. Sides. Come into it there. So it's all loaded up now. I'll feather it down, come into it, and feather across. And that feather move, it cleans up the paint and it levels it so that it's nice and smooth. Down here, I'll just come down here to get the underside of this here. And come up like that there. Okay, now I'll feather this off here. And when you do that, always look at the top part here because the paint might run over there. So that takes care of that. You want to make sure that you get it er everywhere. So if you miss a spot, just go back and hit it. So I'm going to come across and feather it like that there. So now, as, as you can see, it's all done, but we still have the sides to do here. So what I like to do for the sides is just load up the brush just like a little bit. 